Hi guys, another video by Rich from Bench Tech here. Today I just want to highlight a couple of the unique features of this EVGA P55 classified motherboard. Um, first up, we're going to be looking at the EVGA Show Vault. Now this is basically just a digital multimeter built onto the side of the motherboard, so you don't need any additional hardware to read off the uh, um, hardware voltages that are going through the motherboard. Um, at, uh, when, when you're using it basically. So EVGA give you this uh, this probe um, included in the packaging and all you need to do is touch it against one of these uh, one of the five or so voltage pads that you've got on the side of the board just next to the top of the RAM here. First up at the top we've got the CPU V, v core uh, that's the, the voltage going to the CPU. Um, then you've got the CPU VTT that's sometimes called, called the uncore voltage. Uh, then you've got the DRAM voltage. Uh, then you've got the PCH voltage uh, and finally you've got the CPU PLL voltage. Um, so you've got five pads on the side, five voltages, and you can read them straight off onto the EVGA show volt there. Um, what I'll do, just for, for confirmation purposes, just pull in my uh, personal digital multimeter here, uh, to show you that they're reading roughly the same sort of uh, volt values here. There's going to be a little discrepancy. This is only a, a 20 quid uh, multimeter here, so it's nothing nothing really special, but it, it gives you an idea of what the voltage is and uh, is enough of a guide for, for me. Um, just go down through the voltages again, just show you the... Uh, just read off the voltages and show you them. They're pretty much in, in line, in sync. Um, and finally the CPU PLL at the bottom there, 1.82. 0.83 volts. So there you go, that's the EVGA show volt. Um, last thing I'll just show you is that if I hook it up to the 12 volt rail of, of the power supply uh, using one of the PCI 6 pin connectors here, um, just show you it can, it can record up to 12 volts on that circuit. So it's, it'll basically do anything that you want to use it for in regards to a, a computer or a, a motherboard any of the voltages coming out of the power supply. So there you go, there you have it. Um, moving on round, second thing I want to highlight is the EVGA ETPV2. It's a little control panel we've got here. I've got this plugged into the motherboard header um, just below the SATA, um, power, uh, SATA data cables here. And the, the extra connection goes in, in here just above them. This is for the um, PCI Express disable jumpers. You've got jumpers on the board if you unplug the jumpers on the board, you can attach the cable that comes with the ECP V2 on there, and it's the uh, the side closest into the centre of the motherboard that you plug this onto, uh, not the outside of the motherboard. Um, and I'll just continue on that one. The PCIe disable jumpers are at the bottom of the, the ECP V2 here. You'll notice I've got the one on the left at the top um, of the two connectors, uh, and the three on the right um, at the bottom. And the ones at the bottom mean that they're disabled, the ones at the top mean that they're enabled. So I've got one PCI Express lane enabled here, um, and as you'll see I've got one one card in the slot there at the top, so all the other PCI Express lanes are disabled, um, so they're not they're not creating any load on the chipset or, or NF200 chip that we've got on the board here. Moving on. Uh, a couple of the active things we've got going on on here is you'll notice we've got a, a little blinking light on the le on the left here. This is the hard drive activity LED. Um, just gives you an idea of what's going on. So there you go. I've just uh, just started doing something on the computer. Show you that the hard drive activity LED comes on. And also, you'll notice this one's jumping around. This is the CPU temperature. It also reads it off, reads it off on the actual motherboard up there. This is just a direct mirror. These two. So this is the CPU temperature jumping around as, it, as the computer is actually doing something. So there you go, just uh, the active things we've got going on here, the buttons that actually do something. We've got the reset button on the side here, this black one. Red one is the power button. Um, and this is the clear CMOS button, this little one in the middle here. It's clear CMOS, you basically you press that one down if, if the board's on or off. It'll, um, if the board's on, it'll just turn the board straight off, straight cut the power. Um, and you'll get a little green LED in this, in this power button which is telling you that it's uh, resetting the, the, the CMOS. Uh, you let go of that, the green button goes out, the board powers back on if it was if it was on when you pressed it, and it will boot up with cleared CMOS. So that's, uh, that's pretty handy there. Next three switches we've got here, I'm going to need to go back to the uh, EVGA show bolt for, uh, it's because these affect the voltage. Um, the two on the left, we've got the two for CPU uh, vehicle. Each of, each, if you press the buttons here, they increase the CPU V core by 0.1 volts. Let's show you that. 
uh, have a look back over the show vault I've got 1.15 cpv core press one of the buttons 1.25 second button 1.35 that's the cpv core you just turn those straight back off they're just on off switches so you can you can increase the cpv core by 0.2 if you turn them both on last one here we've got is the cpu vtt at 1.06 volts you'll see on the show vault press the button 1.16 volts so each of those buttons increases it by 0.1 because you've got two buttons for the v core you can increase the v core by 0.2 so they they have it guys there's a couple of the unique um, p55 classified features um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Thanks, guys. Bye.